Welcome back, everybody. Austin, Texas, World Combat League in the Western Conference Finals. And for the L.A. Stars, Jack Felton and the Dragon, Sante Wilson, Jr. Here's a closer look. L.A. Stars' Jack Felton is a warrior that has fought all over the world. He cites teammate Ray Daniels as an inspiration. This will be Jack's first time in the WCL. I have heart, I have speed, and I have strength. Texas Dragon Sante Wilson. He's a former ISKA featherweight champion and is fast and quick and in a hurry to execute. I would never give up. You got to think that Jack Felton's going to be in a hurry to execute there. Felton, they're closest to you in the silver for the L.A. Stars. And there he is trying to get inside early on Sante Wilson Jr. And again, for Felton, first ever appearance in the WCL. Guy, you got to think he's jacked up a little bit, and he's throwing a lot of punches early. Yeah, this is, you know, this is kind of the L.A. trademark. Very fast, quick punches, you know, and uh, there he overran Sante's uh, balances there. And that's also kind of a classic karate style fight is to overrun the balances of, of their opponents. So he's looking really good. There's a lot of action thrown. These are lightweights. These guys tend to throw a lot of techniques. Now Sante's got the... Uh, Whoa! Oh. Down he goes. Knockdown or not or off balance. No, nope, no knockdown. It was, a, it was a good throw, which is not really a legal technique in WCL. So Wilson there. Being attacked by Jack Felton. Again, first ever appearance in the WCL. So Felton making a nice appearance for the LA Stars here in the second match. Yeah, he seems to be, you know, Sante's having a tough time catching this kid. He's fast, he's in and out. It's making it very difficult to, to get hold of him. Felton's fighting a very smart fight against Sante. Sante is a power puncher for a lightweight fighter. You know, he has that knockout power. There Felton is, again, overruns his balances. They said this is kind of a, a classic karate style uh, attack is to overrun the balances and, and uh, not that it does a huge amount of dis uh, damage, but it does, uh, you know, knock the fighter on, off his feet. Well, you got three judges watching, and every time a fighter ends up on his back, whether it's a slip or not, it's indelibly in the mind. We'll see what happens at the end of the fight, but here goes Felton on the attack, trying to get more points for the LA Stars. No penalty points as of yet. There, the left knee. Yeah, Sante needs to start using his combinations a little more. You, you can see that he's, he's kind of waiting for Felton to come in, and he's going to try to counter him with these big punches, which I think is probably a mistake on his part. You know, Felton is obviously the faster fighter. So Sante needs to sit there and initiate the attack and hopefully draw Felton into a, you know, a, a slug, slug fest, which, you know, Sante feels he's going to win. And Felton's doing a good job. He's overrunning Sante's balances, putting him down. And that, like you stated earlier, that is going to be in the minds of the judges and also the fans are seeing that Sante again. There he goes again. Sante, that's got to be five or six times now. And whether it's off balance or not, here both guys coming on the inside attack. Uh, judges are going to remember it. Fans are going to remember it. Absolutely. Absolutely. It does weigh on, on, on the scoring. Again, what I said, Sante needs to be more aggressive forward to stop the match because he uh, oh, stepped out of bounds. Oh, good knee by Felton. That's a good... That was a good technique. Sante looked like he picked most of Offman's glove, but that was a really good technique. That's the kind of stuff I, you know, Felton needs to do more. Well, I gotta tell you, first time ever for the uh, WCL for Jack Felton for the LA Stars there in the silver pants, and that was one heck of an effort for the novice in the World Combat League and for Sante Wilson Jr. Maybe more of a fight than he anticipated. Just being first to go out there. Set the tone for the rest of the team. Give us some points, give us some leeway. There's Felton doing a really good job of, of keeping Sante off balance. And it pays off for him, guy. 15 to 9. Felton over Sante Wilson Jr. So now for the LA Stars, they build a 30 to 15 lead. Match three.